Hello boys and girls. This definitely does not look like my normal at home office, does it? Can anybody tell me where I am right now? Can you tell what room or what area of the house I'm at? I'm in my garage and you can see I've got lots of tools and garage things behind me. My car, bikes, everything you can think of is in this garage. Um, my fiance does construction and I have tools galore and guess what it goes perfect with our story this week and our theme and our vocab and amazing words and everything we're going to learn about so I figured I'd bring the learning right here in the garage so you could see all the things you need to build with um, tools you need to build with so Remember our new unit, we have been learning what do we need to make things and to build things. Like last week we read about the school that was being built. So today I'm going to introduce uh, you to some new tools and I will show you and I'll talk about our amazing words. Normally I show you a little poster like this on my iPad. And these look cool. They're cool pictures, but not as cool as the real thing. So, um, real quick on this little picture you can see, we're going to talk about the tool, a hammer. Point to the hammer. I bet you know which one it is. We're going to talk about a screwdriver. And that's this one right here. Whoop, whoop, right there. A saw. I bet you know which one the saw is and a file and a drill this is an old-fashioned drill right here that's not what we're used to seeing and a chisel the file and the chisel are down here but this picture is quite small and pretty boring if you ask me so let's talk about these tools right here that are real life tools all right let's start with the basic one a hammer you guys know what a hammer is it's got a handle this part is usually very heavy, made out of metal, something strong. It's got a flat end right there. And uh, this side is almost like a fork, and it helps get the nails out of wood. So a hammer you use as a tool when you're building with nails. So to build a house, to build a school, build a bird house, you need to have a hammer. And you can hammer into the wood with some nails. The next one let's talk about is a saw. Now the video or the picture of the saw is where you see the wooden hand, handle and the big long metal um, piece right there. There's a sharp end right there and a saw you use to cut through wood. Um, if you need to make a birdhouse or something smaller you would take the saw. Now this is a one version of a saw. You can see this is the sharp end right here and you hold it safely at the ha handle. Um, you could use a saw like this almost just looks like a knife but really jagged I wouldn't want um, to butter my toast with this kind of knife um, so this is a saw and a real saw that all construction men use or is this big heavy one and so they've come a long way from that old-fashioned one now with the saw if you want to go through your wood you would pick up your wood you would safely hold it with your handle and you saw it back and forth that means you Make it go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Make some sawdust. I like that smell. And you can see I've made a notch in my board right there. How cool is that? Um, the other one we are going to talk about is a file, something you probably don't see think of much. This is not, Miss mm, Bolt needs to fix her nails, not that kind of file. It does the same thing though. When you use it, it can smooth out some edges. You might use it on wood, like after I get done sawing and say it's all really rough or you might get splinters. I could take this file and rub it back and forth and it makes it nice and smooth no more rough edges so a file is something you might use we have a drill this is our drill that you use today not like that old-fashioned one and a drill um, puts holes into wood or something that you are building so you can get your screw in there okay and I was saying the old-fashioned drill is this one where you literally had to take that handle part and stick the that metal bar in there where you want to make the hole and take that handle and go around and around and around and around and it took a lot of work back in the day. Now it's 
as simple as a click of a button and it will make the, the hole for you. Okay, screwdrivers, there's all sorts of different types. Here are some screwdrivers here. The ones like this um, are your Phillips, where we have, oh, there we go. You can see there, it's got like a crisscross in it, an X, or there's a flat head screwdriver you can use. And a screwdriver, you put it in, in the screw, the top of the head, and you have to twist and twist and twist and twist. You can twist it in, or you can twist it out if you want to get the screw out. Here's your flat head one, same thing. So a screwdriver. Um, and the last one, a fun one, is a chisel something flat like this you would hold it at the handle and then that's where your hammer comes into play as well and if you wanted to chisel a piece of your wood off you take it and you go like this now there's people that carve really cool um, animals or different things with a chisel and they're really good at chiseling the wood to make it into something a unique design so I think I got them all there this is another really big chisel and our saw, and our hammer, and our screwdriver, I think we got them. How cool are these tools? Now, I challenge you to go hang out with mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, uncle, whoever has some tools laying around, and ask them to show you. If we were in the classroom, I would have brought some hammers and things to school. And I would have let you all get a turn with it. Same with the saw or the file. So, please, 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 moms, dads, let your child use these tools. Get their hands on them. Find an old piece of wood. Find a wood from a branch that fell off for all I care and do something with it. How cool would that be? So, enough with the tools. Let's talk about our short, easy book, and it's called We Build a Birdhouse. You could do this. This would be a fun idea, especially right now, and it's by Allison Blank. Remember to help me read the book, and um, we'll go ahead and get started. Watch for your buzzwords. Watch for the tools. We measure. Um, a measuring tape, we've talked about that before, is another tool you would use. Especially if you're trying to design something and you want it a certain length, you need to measure with the measuring tape across so you know where to cut with your saw. Okay. I'm sure there's a measuring tape around here. We'll have to grab one later. We saw, oh, look at that saw. Now, a saw, remember, is very dangerous. It's got sharp edges on it. So this you need to do with an adult. You can see the girl and her father have a work smock on so they don't get all dusty and dirty. And they're sawing through the wood that they just measured to make the birdhouse. How cool. We hammer. Another thing I notice in this is they're wearing safety protective glasses. That's always a good idea so you do not get that sawdust or anything in your eyes. We hammer. A hammer's heavy and can be dangerous too, so make sure you ask mom and dad for help. It hurts when you hit your finger. I have done that before. We drill. They've got the power drill just like I showed you to make their put their screws into the wood to drill into their birdhouse to put it together. We paint. Oh, that would be fun. That would be my favorite part, I think. You could paint your and decorate your birdhouse or whatever you're making. We glue. We have glue. We already know how to use that tool. We talked about everything in our art boxes are our tools. That's why we need to take care of them. And we build. Oh, there we go. How cool is that? Well, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed your book. I hope you enjoyed the tools. Who can fill in my blanks? I've got a couple sentences here. Who can fill in my blanks with what tool you would use? The end of a blank fits into the head of a screw. Oh, of a screw. I almost gave you the answer. The end of a blank fits into the head of a screw. Well, what, what tool do you use with a screw? You use a screwdriver. Okay, I see some screws right here. And this is the end of the screw that it was talking about, and the screwdriver fits right in perfectly, and it will screw right into a piece of wood. Very cool. All right, what's gonna fill in this blank? The sharp end of the blank makes a hole in the wood. Okay. Oh, this one is my drill. This is my drill. So the drill would make a sharp hole into the wood. The screwdriver.
could fit into the screw. You, if it's a fast job or something you need to do a lot, you use that drill, which is a screwdriver but with a battery. So this is your screwdriver. You could twist this in. Here's your drill. It just gets the job done faster. Maybe Miss Bolton just likes to pull that trigger. I'm not sure. Tim, use a blank to smooth the board. To make something smooth, he used a file. So Tim used a file to smooth the board. The blade is sh a sharp part of a what? What had a sharp blade on it? The saw. Okay. Pam chipped the wood with her what? What do you use to chip wood? Do you remember what this one's called when you use this? You chip the wood away and you can make cool crafts. It's called a chisel. You might use it when you're putting in a door. I use a blank and nails to hang a picture. How, what do you use if you have a nail? What are you going to use to hang a picture? You need nails and a hammer. So, I hope that was a good review. I hope you enjoyed your story. I took you to Miss Bolton's garage. Got a lot of stuff in here. Um, my challenge to you is to get outside and get your hands on some of these tools with mom or dad or somebody to help you so you can see what they're about. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this video.